It's the morning, Wednesday, June 19th, and I am on my way to catch a flight to Seattle for Magic Fest Seattle. Uh, looking forward to seeing everybody when I get down there. Thought I'd go down early so I could uh, get everything established. It's a little early for me to be up. I find I'm allergic to mornings, but it's fine. We'll get on the flight here in about an hour and uh, be in the air for less time than that. It's the perfectly human travel hour of 3.45 in the afternoon and we're just leaving Victoria for Magic Fest Seattle. I'm so excited to get down there. Boat adventure. Yay. This is, this is great. This is how I want to do it. I, I'm, it, it felt so, uh, so, 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 so civilized and it's so close by hmm. that I was like, ah, this will be nice. We get to go to Seattle. Yeah. I, I almost forgot my passport because <laughs> I was just like, I was just like, we're not going to another country. It's Seattle. I like that it's right there. I like you sent out a message being like, everyone remember your, your passport. And That's that little, why. That little moment of panic in my head being like, I haven't checked the expiration date. Like, okay, Serge, you got three more years. We're good. All right. <laughs> Boy, it is windy. All right, James, what is the plan for the day? Uh, step one, walk from the moon base to the clipper, in which we get to walk through the grounds of the Empress Hotel. Still very windy, but it's a... Uh, it's a very nice walk through downtown Victoria. We found a Ben. Yo, I, uh, I, I made a pit stop at found. McDonald's. Oh, I'm so hungry. I got two junior chickens. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Even one junior chicken would be good right now. This is the middle of the week. I know. This is it's Wednesday. This place is packed with more humans than a vegetarian lasagna. It's made out of vegetarians. I get it. No, that's good. That's good. James thinks he's all fancy mm. and uh, is gets the board ahead of us, so he's going to grab our seats, which is nice. Mm. We're in Vista class, which is apparently the middle of three available classes, and I have no idea what the distinction is. We're in Fiesta class. Oh. Ah, the Victoria Clipper 5. This is their new ship that I have not had an opportunity to ride on yet, so that's exciting. I've just said a fib. I've totally ridden on this boat before. We get to go upstairs though, which is different. James has already snagged his seats. Now oh, there he is. Terrific. Oh, this is really nice up here. I got on the wrong boat. They saved me. You ready for the secret tech on your first Clipper trip? Well, you bring your switch, you bring your snacks, your nuts, your chocolate. There we go. I don't know why they're sitting with me. I don't need them. I, my chocolate! My snacks! My switch! Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I'm actually upset that you didn't loudly exclaim, my nuts! <laughs> now, the Clipper provides free uh, motion sickness medicine, which is good, because this, uh, this, this is a choppy one. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't been on a Clipper quite so choppy in a little while. I like the motion of the ocean. I come from like a landlocked. That means a different thing than I think it does, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. Oh, really? Is that a euphemism? Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, wow. I come from a landlocked province, so. Yeah. This is a much more stable boat than the very first Clipper, which I hasten to remind everyone was lovingly nicknamed locally as the Vomit Comet when it was first introduced. <laughs> really? I did not know that. That's yeah. Great. Outside's awesome. Was that where you were? Yeah. Oh, sweet. It's, there's I a lot feel, of spray getting kicked out. I feel like I've been fluffed up. Mm -hmm. You would think it would be unpleasant out here, but it's actually delightful. It's bright, it's warm, it's not actually windy unless you put your arm out past the edge of the boat. This is really, really nice. Now that we're in Puget Sound, the boat has stopped uh, tipping quite so much. So that's an improvement. When we were in Victoria Inner Harbor, Cameron mused out loud why the boat was flying the flag of Cyprus. Because it was, it was flying the flag of Cyprus. It's not now. They've now taken it down from the flagpole, but it was flying the flag of Cyprus. And I said, it, maybe that's where the boat is registered? Well, had a look at the life preservers. And indeed, it says the Victoria Clipper 5, Limassol, which is 
a town in Cyprus. So for whatever reason, this boat that operates exclusively for Victoria Clipper vacations between Victoria, British Columbia and Seattle, Washington State is registered in Cyprus. We are docked in Seattle and we are waiting for them to tell us that we are allowed to stand up, which many people seem to be having trouble with these simple instructions, but we're, we're obeying, we obey the law here in Loading Ready Run Land. If we all jump at the same time, we could probably make it stop. We die! <laughs> well, okay. All right. Just dramatic. Yeah. Look, I'm tired. It was a long boat ride. I just want to be cozy and not die in an elevator. As much as I love all of you, I don't want to uh, die in an elevator with you. I'd die I in do. I would die in an elevator with you. Oh, now I'm a I'd bad like, friend. Yeah. I'd like to die in such a way where they don't have to just, like, scoop out the slurry and weigh it to figure out how many people were there. <laughs> I'm here in my hotel downtown. I have to take off here so I can get some food and uh, then also drop in on the convention center. Da da da. Roof! Alright, well, we've checked in and that's, that's probably gonna be it for today. We're just gonna go get dinner and nothing exciting will happen. So I'm not gonna film it. But tomorrow, Magic Fest begins. It is 8 of the clock on uh, setup day for Magic Fest Seattle and uh, I'm done. Holy crap been here quite a while receiving all of our stuff and uh, trucking it upstairs and the booth I think looks pretty good so far I haven't got everything laid out where I want it but so far pretty pretty nice it's a lot more space than we've had in the past I don't steady cam very well so you know that's it's fine it's just leave, leave me alone here have have some have some larger video of the booth looks pretty great now I just have to count the hundreds of things that I brought to the booth to make sure that we got everything, which is definitely possible to do in the next 20 minutes since the guys just landed and I'm going to go have dinner with them pretty soon. So morning. It wouldn't be a trip to Seattle without a coffee adventure. So I'm taking Graham and Ben to a little place called Anchorhead, which has really, really, really good breakfast sandwiches and excellent single origin pour over coffee. So I'm glad they joined me. And the San Antonio crew gets to ride again, although we don't have the scooties oh, I this time. The, I miss the scooties. <laughs> We're getting San Antonio flashbacks. Serge isn't quite sure where the venue is anymore. And so, where, the, where, the, where this coffee shop is at? Yeah, we're gonna go. If we cross some train tracks, I'm gonna like break down. <laughs> <laughs> now follow me into the year. What the? <laughs> okay. That was delicious, and it remains to be delicious. And it turns out their loyalty card is just like a thing. I thought it was, I thought it was, they wanted my email, so I hit no. I'm gonna be spending so much money there. I lost precious points, Graham, because I rushed and I didn't ask a question. Yep, you get, you <sighs> get a thing every, every drink. Yeah. Every 10 drinks, you get a free drink. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I'll be here for packs. Yeah, we, well, <laughs> oh, you're not, you're not sitting your sights high enough, Graham. I'm you're gonna you're gonna get, you're gonna yeah, clean that out this, this trip, weekend. Oh, I'm going for two. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Wow. All right. I mean, you underestimate how much coffee I want to drink. I guess I do. <gasps> Look who we found. It's Dana. Hi. How you doing? Good. Welcome to Magic Fest Seattle. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Yay! Friendship. We're gonna meet so many friends while we're here. I'm doing both both main events. Even if I make day two in the first event, because I can always improve my record for how Seattle's working this year, because there's two day ones that feed into the same day two. So if I go six three on Friday and then I go seven two on um, Saturday, 
then I'll start with the 7-2 record instead of the 6-3. Is there a deck that you're really hoping to draft? Um, Slivers! Yeah! They're my favorite. My dad actually used to play them competitively. The height difference makes it kind of hard to film here. <laughs> oh, it's super good to see you though, friend. Yay! Apparently there's folks already at our booth, so we gotta hustle a little bit. Poor Adam's been left all alone. And Adam and money and finances, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to make it to, you know, an <laughs> assumption based on him. You heard it here, folks. Ben thinks Adam can't do basic math. So let's go rescue him because he can't do basic math. Uh, I've actually never been to uh, Magic Fest Seattle, or like any of like the Seattle kind of tournaments and stuff. And it's, whoa, really big. <laughs> It's a lot more open space. Yeah. It's, it's nice to be able to actually move around and yeah. not have to work. <laughs> it's, it's super unrecognizable. It's amazing how different they make the space look, eh? Yeah, yeah, big time. Oh, Cameron's here. Oh, good. It's not just Adam. Someone we can trust to do math. We thought you were all alone, Adam. We rushed here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we didn't know you had Cam for backup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's OK. It's all right. The adult's here. Cool. I'm glad you agree, because I was like, oh, man, I said Adam's really bad at finances, but now I feel like a jackass. But if you are fine with it, yeah, it's fine. God. What's up, bitch? Oh, Jesus. It's yeah, the morning. Uh, I got here later than everyone else because I had issues that I had to deal with in my own hotel room. It's fine. And then I decided I'd go spend $14 Canadian on a tuna sub. How's the Magic Fest exclusive playmat going? It is flying, uh, apparently. The, Great. The guys are just like... Adam like caught me on the escalator and was saying to me like, yeah, we already sold like five or six of those and we barely even gotten started. That's so awesome. Yeah. I'm excited. We've only, we only made a hundred of them. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think, I seriously think they'll be gone by Saturday. Yeah. At the, and that's like being generous. Yeah. I think it'll be gone by tomorrow if I'm being honest. So if you want one, you better get down here, except you're going to watch this way later. <laughs> yeah. Past you. Should have acted faster. Thank you so much. Oh, look at him. He's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that, the big, that big fiery cat. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I've spent my morning so far wandering around Artist Alley picking up a bunch of cool artist proofs for commander decks and things. Technically, artist proofs aren't legal to play, but it's also commander, and I don't care and no one will know. Call me on it, I dare you. This is a particularly big and full artist alley. There are a lot of people here. Hey, look who else is here. Now I'm going to see if I can get into a draft, because it's 12.30 and I haven't drafted yet, which seems like I'm just spewing value at this point. Hi, I'd, I'd like to draft, please. Alright, I got my prize tickets to give out. I've got my lanyard that says, fight me to win prize tickets. And I've established with the judges that this does mean at beat me at magic, not with your fists. Um, that was me establishing that, by the way. There was a couple of judges being like, wait, we can just beat you up for prize tickets? And I'm like, mm mm mm, -mm. And the queue is already full. So we'll be drafting in a moment. I'm excited. So uh, on this row, uh, Dan, Chris, Graham, and Brian. Okay, went one and one in the first round of that. Conceded game three, because I've got to get over to the stage for our stream. Yes, that did count for me giving them prize tickets. They were nice. I have, I drafted a really cool snow deck and it was super fun. And I got to make Merit Lage in game one. So basically I feel like I won. Anyway, here's James and Dennis and let's see what they have to say for themselves. Yo! Yo! How's it going? We're gonna draft. At, at least as soon as Adam's done. He's slow rolling. What a jerk. Alright, I'm out of here. That was chill. Thanks for everybody for hanging out. Well, that all, that all worked. We're done the stream. That was kind of fun. I'm going to see if I can go sell a card that I got in a draft. And I don't know what we're doing next. I'm, I'm nobody's mascot. I am my own man. 
I am freedom. I am my own man and I'm nobody's mascot. We're gonna go check out this place called Life on Mars. I think it's what it's called. It's like 10 minutes up the hill, up in Capitol Hill. And it's a vinyl bar, which is just extremely my shit. What's that mean? Like you literally go in <clears throat> and from four to six, you get to like pick out a record to listen to. Uh, and then I assume the rest of the night, they just make their way through the backlog of all the records. So like, I don't expect to listen to a record because we would probably have to hang out for like hours. But I just want to check it out, maybe grab a drink and then make somebody listen to music that I chose at like, I don't know, like 10 probably <laughs> by the time I, my record gets around. Huh, That's cool. the plan. So I'm excited. Okay. Check it out. Conventions at this center when it's not PAX are very weird because <clears throat> PAX not only uses the entire space yeah. that the WSCC has, they also take over a lot of other spaces. Whereas this is nicely contained in half of the expo hall. It's so calm right now. Yeah, it's really nice. Also, Chris is here. Hello. I think that's an awful lot of records. What do you think, James? It's okay, I guess. I mean, they're using that whole row as sort of a display where there could be literally hundreds more records, so... <laughs> I have no idea what I want to pick. There's so many options. I had to, I, I decided I wanted to pick something Canadian, right? So I, I, my choices were, in my head, Bare Naked Ladies, Tragically Hip, or Rush. And Rush is the only thing that I could find. They might have them. Again, there's thousands of records up there, but decided to go with Rush, because, you know, Canadian. Let's introduce some Canadian. The guy running the door is also from Canada and was a big fan of the Rush. This is his personal record. <laughs> there is some other Canadian records up there. I assume there yeah. would be, yeah, yeah, yeah. I made sure of that. Nice. I also have uh, Dime Alone Records is sending me a bunch of stuff. Nice. Because uh, I used to work with Alexa on Fire, so they're sending me oh, yeah, all really? my discography. Oh, yeah, I saw yeah, those guys live like three or four times over the years. Yeah. I've seen them a lot more than that. <laughs> yeah, if you work for them, I wouldn't <laughs> yeah. believe you. Yeah. Heading back to the convention center now. That place was great. If that was like my place, I'd probably try to put, like, try to put a little bit more emphasis on the music. Yeah. Cause it like it got busy and it get loud. It gets loud, and it's like, of course it does. It's a bar. I get it, but I'd love it if it was just more like, come in and listen to music, quiet conversation, have some drinks, but yeah, put the focus on the actual songs and albums. Cause it's it's awesome. You pick your own. You pick your albums, and it's just like they just play them front and back, front to back, which is great. So we got to hear some gorillas, and at some point this evening, that bar will hear Rush, and that yeah. was me. James gets to give the gift of having listened to Rush to some other people in that bar. Exactly. And if that, that's not the greatest gift of all, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I remember the first time I came to Seattle, I thought all the drivers must be fucking awful because they're always honking their horns and getting mad at one another. But I've been other places now and I realize that Seattle drivers are actually fine. They're just, I don't know, impatient maybe? It might have gotten better now that weed is legal. Hi, my name is Jordan T. Card Kingdom. <laughs> inventor. <laughs> ah, Jordan T. Card Kingdom, inventor of Card Kingdom. Excellent. I'm responsible for Sanic on the internet, and I'm not sorry. It's 160 tickets on the line in each, in each match, and it's supposed to be 150 to the winner, 10 to the loser, but if both players agree, you can do whatever. My opponent and I have decided to just do an even split, so we each get 80, which is nice. <laughs> Serge and Fugi and James and Jordan are doing winner takes all. Jordan, who does social media... Oh, you're for actually team. vlogging. Okay. Yeah, why the hell not? I'm going to performatively pose. There we are. Did you get the shot yet, Jordan? Great. Yeah, there we are. Content. Content. Today it was dogs. Today, tomorrow it's me. 200 dogs, and it's still coming in at 8 o'clock. I posted that at 10 a.m.? I'm not dogs. mad about it. You're supposed to be the nicest one. Why are you the dead? <laughs> really weird flex. Why am I brain went there? <laughs> Hi, vlog. It's me, Adam. We're, we're in Delaware. <laughs> I love Delaware. <laughs> wow, Delaware. Hello, I have the camera now. I'm a uh, great. Yeah, no. Benjamin, the camera holder. Hello, I have the camera now. It is Benjamin, the camera holder. Yes. And we're going for food because yeah. we haven't eaten in 
three hours and we're all monsters and need to ingest more things. I just realized I haven't eaten since breakfast. Really? Yeah. Oh, I had a, I had a Subway sub, a six inch, and I said, hey, can I have a, uh, a Italian club, I think it is, yeah. on X thing? And they were like, oh, we don't have any of those meats. <laughs> and I went, okay, what meats do you have? And they went, cold cut only. And yeah. I said, great. Hey, I'll give you a foot long if you want instead. Oh, let's, let's pump the brakes. Well, it's definitely not a foot long. We're no longer. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, so gonna say we bit. can't use this in the vlog, but you know what? Maybe we'll make an exit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to grab some food at the Pine Box, which is a place that we go to all the friggin' frack in time. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have drinks and food and good friend times. And maybe, just maybe, I'll have the final game that I'm still <laughs> trying to play against. Uh, Jordan, because we keep getting sidetracked by other things. How many hours are we now later trying to wrap this uh, up? This match has been going on for about three or four hours. White log from Holy Mountain. I was gonna get that anyway. Yeah, it's the best one. So. Right, so now I don't have to look at that. It's uh, Friday morning, our day one. It's kind of weird, there's like two day ones that funnel into one day two. So, we're doing the Friday day one, and we're all gonna win. Even though we kind of already have plans of like six. That makes day one kind of awkward. <laughs> Nobody can do well. All right. Uh, we also have plans on Sunday, so no making day two. Yeah. In the short amount of time that we have to do well at day one. Fair enough. On to day one. What was your plan? Uh, play one game and then drop and then go draft all day. <laughs> That's my plan. Kinda, yeah. I kind of like. I kind of like that plan. Cause it's like, I just don't. I'm just. I don't have that competitive thing in me right now. And I'm just like, yeah. Eh. I'd much rather just chill and jam battle boss, battle bond drafts. And stuff. Oh yeah. Do they have that? Yeah. Uh, mine was uh, not great, oh. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, opening uh, three three forces in three different colors, uh, not, not, not super duper. Rough. Surge? I opened all of the money. I opened Urza, Force Negation, Foil, Force Negation. Apparently Foil is like 107 bucks. Yeah, I don't know what my deck's gonna do, but I'm already calling myself a winner. Holy moly, yeah. all right, not bad. I mean like, it's gotta be okay. I've got the Soul Herder. And I got a man, one man of war, but like nothing like to go like yes. completely nuts with it. Cool. I just have a solid green black deck. Yeah. Yeah. It just has creatures. Yeah. I've got a Eula. Oh, nice. And two mother bears and three changelings. Oh, that's good. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if anyone picked up this camera and said anything into it over the course of the entire day. Probably not. But we all played a lot of magic. Um, ben might have played the most amount of magic of anybody. Let's go to him now. Hello, hi, I did play a lot of Magic and I went four and three in the main event and it was kind of one of those ones where I squeaked back and forth. It was a lot of fun and I've never gotten that far in a uh, main event before. So, yay. Now we're gonna go to Card Kingdom, I think. Yeah, we're going to Card Kingdom and they're gonna feed us and it's all free food and that's gonna be a mistake. Just free more food. More macaroni and cheese. Yes. More macaroni and cheese. More. More. And they're like, sir, you threw your last one on the ground. More. <laughs> I went for all you can eat curry buffet. How was that? Great. But you know what I learned? What? Lentils don't make you a better magic player. Why would you think that lentils make you a better magic player? I don't know. I thought it was like my final form and I was going to evolve. And right. that right. It, like it's the big brain play. But is it considered a superfood? Maybe. I don't uh -huh. know. Turns out all it does is make you sleepy. Right. Yeah. Now it's... <laughs> And yeah. as everybody knows, sleepiness makes you a better magic player. Yeah, you're like uh, in your dreams. You're like, uh, sir, I'm gonna need you to make a play. And you're like, I'm sorry, I was lentil napping. <laughs> yeah. Lots of room we are. Is there room in the back? Or lift driver. I yeah. think it's important that we specify here that we're not just talking about those Centurion where you take a hundred shots of beer in a hundred minutes. Yeah, we're talking about 
the chicken nugget century. <laughs> and I regret floating this idea. Anyways, now we're here at the Mox, oh, yeah. the Card yeah, Kingdom. We spent the evening playing magic and hanging out with nice people and having good food, and it was great. This place is very nice. Obviously, if you haven't visited here, you should visit here. It's a, it's a kingdom of cards. <laughs> You drafted for the first time, yeah. right? And you drafted like a legit snow deck. Yeah, I fucking killed it. I think. You, so you, yeah, you had uh, you had merit lage, like the, the yeah the merit lage slumber. Yeah, and you had what like eighteen snow permanents or something. Yeah, with it? what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I drafted uh, I drafted eight lands, and then I drafted like eleven snow permanents on top of that. Yeah, I saw that you like had that. like nine at one point. You were very very close to making it happen. So it's like yeah. your for, first draft was the most complex set in Magic in years. What? Yeah. Yeah. Neat. Yeah, you nailed it. Shot. Cool. It I was, was just, the first card I got was Ice Hide Golem, and I was like, right, there's snow in this deck. Well, I'm gonna take all the snow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh shit, I'm in black. That's fine. Keep going. Oh look, some of them are blue. Great. I'm in blue now. Yeah, I'm Demir. Yeah. No, you did great. Great. Thank, thank you. you. Great. And I think it's a learning process, right? Yeah. yeah. If I knew that there was more snow in green, I would have tried to go like force blue green. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. yeah, I was like, this is just fine. You just had sweet ninjutsu shenanigans. I did. Yeah. yeah. And I got to actually ninjutsu a couple times. Sweet. Yeah. Nice.